This video is sponsored by Surfshark. <laughs> This is how I dress now on my Lamborghini owner. I'm going for that sort of businessman look. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I'm kidding. Obviously, I'm still repping the V8 hoodie, even though we have a V10. But today's video is on the V8, Hannah's Mustang. Now, whilst I cannot wait to get started on the Lamborghini and start modifying it, we've got Hannah's Mustang to attend to. She should be here any second now. Speak of the devil. That sounds terrible. So if you didn't watch one of the previous videos, this is Hannah and this is her Mustang. Now, we're gonna be modifying this quite heavily and there's a few things we need to sort out before we do so. And one of them is this arch gap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so there's loads of things we could have gone for here, coilovers, lowering springs, and of course, airbags. So, what have you bought? What have you bought? <laughs> air ride, and do you want to explain what air ride is and what it does? What does it do? <laughs> it puts the car up and down at the touch of a button. So yeah, basically, if you don't know what air ride is, we've done it to the Maserati already. It allows us to raise the suspension up and lower it down as low as we like, whenever we like. So we've got the best of coilovers and lowering springs. These are the boxes which contains the air ride. Let's get the boxes inside the unit and see what's inside them. And here it is, the AirX air ride system that is going to be going on the Mustang. I installed the same system on my Maserati. If you have not saw the video, top right hand corner. So these will replace the rear springs, these will replace the rear dampers, and this will replace the front strut and the springs. And this is the management system that goes in the boot which controls the whole thing. Basically an air tank. Now Hannah, who obviously wanted to be a bit more part of the channel, is going to help me fit this because I had an absolute nightmare fit in that Maserati kit. I feel like the Mustang is going to be a little bit better, but I've, I've said it now, haven't I? <laughs> but you never loved somebody like I just did, but you always hurt the ones, hurt the ones you say you're so deep in love with. You don't know nothing, 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 nothing. You don't know what it feels like. So the Mustang is in ready for the air ride and we've got Leon from Ice Detailing. Smashing out the Lambo, front windscreen tints, side tints as well, and then obviously the tints on the back because when you're driving this thing, if you get even a 4 before behind you, the lights just shine so bright into there and you can't see anything. So, just to let everyone know as well, how much would it probably cost to air ride a car? Oh, you're asking me? Yeah, I'm asking you. <laughs> <laughs> about four, four to six grand. Yeah, about 46. 426. <laughs> pretty easily actually on a Ford it's a lot easier to work on <laughs> than the Maserati it took me a lot longer to do that Hannah it's your time to do that side you've watched me do this I'm sure you can do it you ready yeah just give me five seconds let me just google it um I hope you're using Surfshark yeah that's right I hope you're using Surfshark because they've sponsored today's video Surfshark is a VPN or a virtual private network it encrypts all the data sent via the internet so no one can steal your passwords, steal your videos, view your private messages or see what you're doing online. Hey Hannah! Yes? 
Did you know that public Wi-Fi is a goldmine for hackers? No. But not with Surfshark. Okay, so we're on Netflix in the UK here, and one of mine and Kevin's favourite film is Hatchy. I search it on Netflix, it's not there. But with Surfshark in the top right hand corner, I can change my browsing location to Canada, refresh the browser, we're now in Netflix in Canada, let's search Hatchy, and what do you know, it's there for me and Kevin to watch. Hey Hannah! Yeah? Did you know it also works on multiple amounts of devices? No. Yes. So to protect yourself today with Surfshark, click the link in the description box below. Use code Matt Armstrong and you're going to get yourself 83% off plus an extra three months for free. There's a 30 day money back guarantee so there is literally no risk. Right, Hannah's about to do the suspension. Bags are on and ice detailing has absolutely smashed the Lambo out. Liam, you smashed it. Look at it, front windscreen tint, sides are tinted, rear is tinted and the back is tinted as well. And now it looks how it should. Oh, look how sick that is. That is so much better. Not a fishbowl anymore. Literally the front screen looks black but you can actually see out of it. But now it is fully stealthed out. Ice detailing, you Those. smashed it. Link is in the description for them. Yeah. Started from the mud, now you see us going up. Numbers never lie, now you see us blowing up. People used to front, now you see them showing up. Show us up, I've been down and now below. Keep it a buck, I don't. Always been one up on all of these. They be trying to front for all of these. I ain't got time cause they all in they feelings. I to the gang and we making a killing. It's 2020 and they notice the vision. You be the hero, I'm playing the villain. The underdogs and we walk in the villain. We getting money, yeah, they think that we dealing. They talking hot, yeah, if they abundance and we won't stop till we all touch a million. Don't ever forget, but we probably forgive them. I'm living, taking the cause that was given. My blessings is already written. Wrapped it a ribbon, putting ourselves in positions to making some major decisions. I know. Started from the mud, now you see us going up Numbers never lie, now you see us blowing up People used to front, now you see them showing up So what's up, I've been down and now below Okay, we are literally all on now The bags are on the front, the bags are on the rear Hannah, you've been slacking I've even had help from an electrician who's just fitted the lights over there Now there's adjustable sort of um, drop links here which I think we're gonna to have to adjust once the car's up and down so we know what we're doing with it. And also the ride height is adjustable as well. We've got them on like the lowest setting right now. Now this is gonna be the hard and awkward bit. So these are the airlines which have got to go from the bags all the way to the boot. Then we've then got to run power cables from the boot, where the bit is in the boot, to the battery in the front of the car. So we've got to find little holes and grommets that we can sort of thread these through. That's the next step. Fingers crossed, we can do it. Let's go. Chuck it to a to the other side. It's all I just know it down the road. No new faces, no strangers vanish. I remember we were down, we never panicked. Got it, we super rocking. Make your little girl wanna dance, see her booty popping. What's up, guy? I was down so bad, I took those L's. I was like, what, guy? Now I'm up on my way to the bank, I'm laughing, ha ha. Now I'm up on belly, thinking it a rah rah. Okay, moment I fit, I gotta go away. Okay, pressure on me, if you can't make no mistakes. Okay, I remember time back down on fifth block, never switch sides, free PC until he touched down. Okay, so we're all plumbed and wired in. It wasn't actually too bad to fit these. Hannah's removed all the arch lining so we can route the hoses down into the cabin and also the wires as well. Once the arch line is in, you'll never see all of that, but it's a pretty neat job. Same for the rear as well. They go down around there 
up into the boot, and then into the control unit there. The wires. The wires run down here, down this little side bit, and then along the bottom of the seats and round back into there. Overall, pretty decent. And the actual controller is here. The wire actually comes out of the armrest, but we could probably get a little mount mounted here or maybe something inside the armrest eventually. But pretty cool. Hannah's actually gone to work now, so it's gonna be a bit of a surprise for her when she comes back and sees her Mustang absolutely on the floor. Okay, sick. So we are at the highest sort of drive height at the minute, but that height for sort of getting over speed bumps and everything, I think that's pretty good. Bearing in mind, yes, the wheels will be changed because obviously they look tiny in those arches now. Right, let's adjust it a little bit more and then we're gonna get it outside and see what it looks like aired out. You know the hardest thing about putting this whole thing back together was the arch lining. Hannah took all the arch lining out without any guidance or anything and there is literally a hundred clips. I don't know where a single one went, but if you think that I was gonna ring Hannah to ask her where the clips went for the arch lining, then you're wrong. That would get used against me <laughs> in years and years to come. Ain't that right, boys? Okay, so we are ready. The Mustang is ready. I cannot wait to get it outside and see what it looks like. I also forgot to mention a few things as well that this, even is ride height adjustable. There's also damper adjustable, so we can adjust it to whether it be harder or softer. And it's also got camber adjust as well, so we can actually move the camber in and out. With the stock wheels, it doesn't really look so special at the minute, but when we get the bigger wheels, it's definitely gonna be needing adjusting the camber and all sorts of stuff. But there's loads of adjustments you can do on this. sick that looks aired out there's just something about standard cars which just looks so good when they're just on the floor so this is obviously in the number one setting the lowest i can get it because the actual wheel now is pushing up against the arch lining but that is ridiculously low obviously this would not be able to move or drive this low but the beauty of air ride and the beauty of air x is that i can raise it up and drive it at ride height and then obviously have it even higher for speed bumps now i think we're gonna get a little sticky number plate because it looks so sick without the front number plate on the front it looks so smooth and nice now let me show you the ride height that we'll go for everything can be controlled with your phone on wi-fi but i'm connected to maserati one and i don't want to confuse it or anything so we'll connect this one with hannah's phone now all i gotta do is press number two um and this is my ride height so this is the drive height probably something that you'd expect from lowering springs or coilovers but as you can see pretty level quite nice i'd be interested to see what it actually drives like i mean a big car like this on air ride it might be actually quite nice and then number three is the speed bump mode and this is number three the speed bump mode <laughs> not much difference to be honest but that's probably a little bit lower than stock but we'll be flying over speed bumps in number three mode so it's going to be interesting to see what it drives like and also to get hannah's reaction on it so let's take it for a little spin no it actually handles really nice it's not a lot of people say air rides dead bubbly and wobbly but it's not at all it's actually quite firm and i'm sure hannah will prefer a sort of uh firm no that sounded wrong so really all in all a win win it actually drives nice and you cannot deny that it doesn't look nice it looks so sick absolutely grounded out on the floor now the one thing we've got to get all clear is is hannah gonna like it so let's hop in the car let's head back and let's get hannah to come down and check it out but i think it looks so sick Are you ready <laughs> You've not done it yet. No. That's that is that's drive height over there. So that's drive oh. height. But don't you think it still looks good look like drive height? Yeah. It, yeah, it does look a bit better. Okay, go get in it and press number one. <laughs> oh my god, it's on the floor. <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> it looks sick. <laughs> it looks so good. It looks a lot better than the Maserati. <laughs> <laughs> you think it looks better than the Maserati? I think it does because it's a massive car, isn't it? And the wheels aren't like hidden either. Oh, it looks so sick. It looks so good, doesn't it? And also, just to mention, Hannah has got the Bentley hoodie on now. Sick hoodie, actually. So have I. <laughs> looks like we've now got to take it out, but this has been a successful modification. And we now have a sick looking Mustang and there's so much more that we're going to do to it. What do we think next stop? Exhaust? Yeah. Let us know in the comment section below what you would do next to the Mustang. I'm thinking exhaust. It sounds like a Prius at the minute. Thanks for watching this video, guys. See you in the next one. Peace out.